where there's uncertainty for survivors of Hurricane Ian who are just trying to get insurance settlements. Few families had flood insurance due to the high cost of those premiums, which means many people are now struggling to recover from all of the devastation. Correspondent Brooke Schaefer is live for us in the recovery zone. And Brooke, this is really turning into a daunting task for so many families. Absolutely, Nicole. And a lot of people are turning to insurance villages like this one that have started to pop up across southwest Florida after the hurricane. And I can tell you, people have been showing up here all afternoon. They are looking to not only get answers from their insurance companies, but they are hoping they get every penny they need. I need a whole new roof. I have no lanai anymore. Uh, we got power a couple days ago, so we're the game changer to have the power. Rick Chrisan told us his house in Cape Coral, Florida, will need a lot of work. We met him at an insurance village in Fort Myers, a city hit hard by Hurricane Ian two weeks ago. Do you hope or think you're going to get enough money to fix your house? We always hope that. But <laughs> I mean, I pay my insurance for a reason. It goes with my mortgage, so hopefully it gets covered. As countless Floridians now file insurance claims, state officials are already warning homeowners of bad actors. You might get approached by a public adjusters. There's good ones and there's bad ones. Hurricane Ian likely caused well over a hundred billion dollars in damage, including 63 billion in privately insured losses, says disaster modeling firm Karen Clark and Company. There are fears the storm could push the state's already strained home insurance market to the limit. A major concern for some is a lack of flood insurance, something not typically covered by a homeowner's insurance policy. The Insurance Information Institute says only about 4% of homeowners nationwide have flood insurance. A lot of people talk about, you know, oh, yeah, insurance, insurance will cover, uh, depends on your policy. Some people could be facing five-figure payouts just for, to cover the deductible. Well, this is an elderly community, um, and uh, some folks um, will struggle to meet those deductibles, and so their damage will be lasting for a long time. So FEMA says it has already approved about $190 million in disaster relief. But something a lot of people here are dealing with now is these families will really sort of need to front the money until the insurance comes through. And again, they are holding on to hope that they get every penny they need here. Nicole? Yeah, because those repairs are going to be so expensive. All right, Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.